It's winter, so it's not if it's faster, your hand gets closer. Good Paul. A few of my mates are pros, a few of them are on the European tour, and they use it. I might be selling this whole set of golf clubs. I think that's what I need to do a driver. It's whacking. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Well, firstly, sorry, I haven't really uploaded that much recently. Obviously, 50 mile an hour winds, rain, snow, everything. A lot of golf courses have been shut and I don't kind of want to just bombard you with the loads of simulator videos. I want to kind of mix them into content out on the course as well. So. Hopefully it's the turn in March isn't too bad. It's actually we start creeping into April and May and we can actually get some great content. But I am going to try my best. So I am sorry and I am going to try my best. Today is a big day. Today is something I've hummed and hard about a lot. And I want to hear about this in the comments. How have you done aim points? If you don't know what aim point is, aim point is a thing you use to um, well, to read putts, to know where to aim your putts. I'm guessing I've seen a few videos, it's all kind of done with the weight of your feet and then you kind of might see people on TV kind of doing this, using their fingers to know where to aim and stuff like that. A few of my mates are pros, a few of them are on the European tour and they use it. A lot of putting coaches use it. So why aren't we mere mortal amateur golfers using it? It's a big question. So today I'm off to Woolly Park to see Chris Dennis, who I'm working with for my short game. And I asked him about it and he was like, a million percent, yes, you need to do aim points. So with the sun blinding me in my eyes, it's an early morning start. So yeah, I, I do actually think you're not allowed to film aim points. I think there's a thing where it's like a rule. You're not allowed to film it. I might be wrong. So I'll get little bits and bobs of it. And then what we'll do is I'll go and play a few holes after that. Or I'll just go to a putting green and we'll try a few putts. And I'll talk you through kind of the basic knowledge. I don't want to annoy anyone by talking too much about the aim point process. But I'm guessing people have already. I'm not really sure. Anyway, let's get there and let's do aim point. Right, so we're here. It actually is blue skies, but it's still, where is he? <laughs> He's got a snood on, a hat, all the gear. It is very cold. Got it all set out here. And like I said, I can't film too much just because you're not allowed. So we'll get bits and bobs. And then once I've done it, it takes how long? Takes an hour. I feel like I'm back at school here. Takes about an hour. I'll get it done. Then I'll go and play a few holes. We'll hire three balls around the, um, the greens and see how I get on. So yeah, I'll see you soon. Right, so here we are, Woolly Park. Um, out of the car, done my aim point, didn't film it. I'm just gonna see, play three holes and just see how it works. Also, I haven't been on a golf course in a while. I feel like I've been hiding from that storm. First hole here is not a big hole. I'm excited to get to the green. I think aim point's all about kind of getting the weight, but we'll talk about that a bit more when we get down there. Right, so I'm going six iron. Not that windy today, and it's the least windiest day in a long time. Right, six iron. Also, I've been working hard on my game. Six iron kind of straight down dog leg right you can't go for it but and that is straight that's actually a little draw the winds kept it straight absolute bottle the lie i mean bottle the line is you can drive this you can go straight over them trees well you can't really go over the trees but you can cut the corner but i didn't okay so let's talk a little bit about aim point so aim point is a thing that's been out quite a while. You might have seen a little bit of it on YouTube, you might not. It's all about getting the getting the ground, I guess, like, and judging it between like a one, two, three, or four, depending on the slope, and then you use your fingers to kind of shows you where to aim, and that's how you decide the break of a put or not. Does it work? I don't know. For people who are new to the channel, I am playing off six at the minute, but I've gone through a huge, Swing change over the winter, um, so I'm probably just playing about 10 at the minute. Three holes, Hurricane friggin' Eunice is gone. Blue skies, still a bit chilly. Still February, and I can't wait for summer. But let's get my ball, get the green, and try aim point. Let's go! A little bit plugged. Um, there's the marker you go for, and the green is, is just down there. Pins at the front. 
So I'm just going to position you guys right here so you can clean and place your ball. I have got new clubs coming as well. I'm just waiting. Actually, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you what I've got coming. You see me get fitted for my driver. We've still got to get fitted for my irons, but I'm not going to tell you which irons I'm going for yet. Might surprise a few people. Playing 140. Give me a wedge. Yeah, I think it's a pitching wedge. Downhill. 140. I am hitting it pretty well. I'm not going to lie. Well, I'll say that I've had one shot. Right. Come on guys, on the green, and let's put this aim point to the test. Oh my god. What a shot. And I'm going to show you something very important to my game recently. If you are a slicer, you never get a divot like that. That is the straightest divot I can ever remember hitting. That is unbelievable. I'm going to zoom in and show you where we are. If you can see the ball, it's about eight or ten foot left. Right, so let's talk a little bit about aim point and what I've learned this morning. Aim point is going to get over the ball, look at the hole. We're going to go a little bit about it, three quarters away. I'm just going to maybe like a one, get a little bit closer to the ball. So let's judge on one to three if what you think this slope is. I've got two to be safe. So stand over the ball, it's winter. So it's not, if it's faster, your hand gets closer. And I'm just going to go one finger. Um, so it's about a foot outside, right? I want to really concentrate on putting this year because I think putting is such a huge part of the game. Let's just see how far it is. So that hasn't taken me long at all. If I was playing with three or four people, I would have done all that. A lot of people say aim point takes a while. For me, I feel like I would have done that by the time my mates chipped on or whatever. And let's see how close I can get with my first ever put using aim point. Oh! Bit too hard, bit softer. You normally got to imagine you're coming to a foot past the hole. If I was coming a foot past the hole, it did start breaking. One of the most important things is you're not missing by too much. Four practice swings to get the feel. Good part. Good part, and I was 30 foot away. The most important thing, I think the most important thing there is, and about aim point is, it's almost like you want to have a good miss. My normal put there, how far would I have missed? And would the second putt be as easy? And I think that's the most important thing with aim point. You can miss better, so you can two putt more. Good first hole, let's play a few more. It's par four, 372 yards. Um, tee box is here, the green, you kind of go down there, around the corner, and over them trees is the elevated green. Nice hole. If you've been seeing me recently, I haven't been hitting driver that well, and I've been nailing my forward very nicely in the simulator. And it's almost the reason why I've ended up getting my new driver with an inch shorter shaft. I'm just struggling a little bit with driver at the minute, so my next lesson that I have, we're gonna be doing a lot on driver. It's a very different swing to irons, and all the work I've been doing on my irons, I've kind of forgot a little bit about driver. If you're hitting the three forward, 250 do you how much do you actually need driver i might actually do a little bit of a, a video on that also that's a really good trick that use the line on the ball to line up off the tee it's something i struggle with a lot lining up off the tee if it's not straight I caught that well, low flight. I've hit forward so much in my simulator, but not a lot in real life. <laughs> so it's almost weird seeing the flight in real life. It's such a low flight. I know this green has got some hills on, so this green will also be interesting to do the aim point. Let's get down there, see my second shot. Also, another little bit of exciting news. Starting next week, I've um, decided to in, like invest a little bit more in the channel. I do love doing the golf videos. I love being out here. Like I say, I love putting the content out there. So what I've done is I've brought on a full-time camera guy. It saves me holding the camera and walking around golf courses with tripods, trying to do it all myself, because I, it's a very slow process. I don't want to be holding other golfers up. If the golf course is busy and I've got a cameraman, it'll be exactly the same pace. So yeah, starting next week, hopefully, new cameraman. I'll introduce him on the channel, actually. And we could do loads more videos, because I'll have loads more time. But any videos you do want to see, or me recreate it, let us know in the comments because one thing I do struggle with is what to film. <laughs> I'm not very good at that. Let's get the next green. Well, get the second shot, get on the green, see if we can make another par, and almost more importantly, see if aim point actually works. Okay, so not worst shot, forward. I think this is the end of the fairway, so we'll just roll off a little bit, but it's good line in. So, 90, was that 99 yards? Wind's blowing, so I'm going to aim slightly left. Bent off the bank. Oh, 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 
<laughs> I swear this is my like lucky hole. Last two videos I've done here, I've put the ball so close. It might be a little bit thin, but hey, you gotta take it if that's your bad shot. I might not even need it in point for this one. It might be a gimme. Let's go and have a look, see how close we are. Okay, this is an interesting one because that is not a big putt. So a lot of people would think you can't use the aim point for that. Surely it's gonna be feel. Let's have a look. Let's just see. Obviously, I'm just getting used to this as well. It wouldn't be this long. I think it's pretty straight. I'm literally going to line this up the centre of the cup. This is for birdie, ladies and gents. Birdie! Come on! Hard, because the one thing with practice at the driving range in my simulator, in any simulator, you practice irons, whacking the ball. But over winter, the one thing we've all forgot about is putting. Oh! That was my, I pushed that a little bit. Par, take par though, easy par, tap in. Like I said, I think that was me pushing it a little bit, but it looked fairly straight. Anyway, two pars, what more do you want? Got more coming up on this as well. This is actually my new putter, but I'm gonna do a little video on this, because that bad boy. <whistles> anyway, play two more holes. Look how nice the day it is. It's getting out so nice. I might be selling this whole set of golf clubs because I'm getting a full new bag this year. I've already ordered my driver. I'm not sure when I'm selling them. When, I, when, when my full new bag comes, I'll sell them, but I'll let you just have a little quick look. So I've got four wedges in there, 48, 52, 56. I've actually got the PXG 60 because I lost my 60. Five, six, and seven in the um, in these bad boys, in the Apex, nine pitching wedge and eight iron in the Apex Pro. Epic driver, four wood, hybrid, boom. Anyone interested? in this full set of golf clubs, let me know. Right, two more holes, let's go. Okay, so here we are, par four, long par four. Camera angle's a bit dodgy, this I do apologize. Prefer forward, so I'm just gonna aim the trees, and I'm just gonna literally hit this as hard as I can. Drivers are meant to be hit hard. Oh my God, come on wind. That is one of the best drives I've hit in a long time. That's into wind. I didn't think about anything. I think that's what I need to do a driver. Just whack it. I actually seen something the other day, which was interesting. And it was uh, someone saying, if you're going to try and hit your driver softly, hit your three wood, hit your five wood. Irons, I do like to have one or two swing thoughts. One thing I'm trying to do this year, uh, when I'm practicing, think technical, on the course, turn it all off, and just hope that all the practice you've done is embedded in here, muscle memory takes over, and hit a good shot. But that's got miles. Imagine, another paw. Come on. Yeah, that said, middle of the fairway. Green's just up there. This is a massively long paw four. Not gonna think about much here. Get on the green, see if that aim point's working. Still 200 yards away. The long old shot of the five iron. I thinned it, absolutely thinned it. It's gone right. So this is a tricky one. So I landed at pass because I didn't want to land back down the hole. Could I get closer even if I tried again? Probably not. That was probably the shot. Yeah, that is unbelievable. Again, starting practice, having me be on the course. But yeah, we're not going to cheat and play the second ball like some YouTubers. It's always easier the second time and we're not using that ball. In fact, let's try and put a stop clock in the corner. Go. See how long it takes to do. Right, last hole, and you know what? I'm not going to hit driver. I haven't been hitting it very well. I need to do some work on my driver swing, so I'm just going to hit me forward. That is ripped. Down the middle, straight. Might just be before that bunker, which on this hole is going to give me a very bad advantage, but we'll see. A driver at the minute for me is either going to be nice and straight if i hit it well or absolute nightmare so forward to safe option but leaving me very very long shots into greens the next lesson by the way is next friday on my swing so we'll film that as normal see if we can make some um, big changes to the driver because that's the one thing i'm struggling with forward hasn't done too bad oh my god it's drawn a little bit I don't actually know where that is. Came up a bit short. I did, like I said, I didn't get a good crunching connection, which is a bit annoying. So this is a similar distance to the put on that, that chip on the last hole. So I'm actually going to use a 52. Oh, 
Oh my God, that was almost gorgeous. Look at that. I'll leave the camera there. I don't even need it in point. Right, so back in the car, little roundup, aim point. Do you think it works? For me, I do. I do think where I'm aiming when I do that is nowhere near where I would aim in, in real life. So I think the good thing about aim point is your miss is a lot better. I'm not doing it to hold more putts. I'm doing it to have a good miss and have a tap in or an easy second put rather than three putting more. I need to get better at the, the heel thing. That is what it all boils down to. Doing the heel thing, is it one, two or three? So I'm gonna practice that more and throughout the year, hopefully, you'll see me getting a lot better at aim point, but I do think it works. What do you think? Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, drop a little comment and I'll see you soon.